There was a press release in conjunction with EV Connect updating their website indicating General Motors EV drivers are able to use the EV Connect network with plug-in charge. This is similar to the SAE standard 1511.8 and the EV Go Auto Charge Plus feature, where you can just pull up to a charging station, plug in, and the car automatically starts to charge. Very similar to the Tesla Supercharger network experience as well, which is really what the industry is starting to migrate towards. The way it works is you open your General Motors app on your mobile phone, and when you do, there'll be three dots at the top of the map section. When you click on those three dots, you have an option for public charging services. You go down, find the EV Connect. You'll see that you could charge by app or use the plug and charge beta. Once you select that, you'll be brought over to uh, enter your login credentials. And once you do, the plug and charge will be activated. You'll be able to use plug and charge at any of the EV Connect stations and your EV Connect account will automatically be billed for the usage. The information on the website goes on to explain the partnership between EV Connect and General Motors in order to make the driving experience more seamless for the electric vehicle owners. EV Connect operates a pretty significant network of DC fast chargers as well as level two chargers. In my area of Charlotte, North Carolina, there has been multiple um, host providers using EV Connect. Most significantly, Duke Energy, which is the major utility in our area, has been switching from using the Shell Recharge app to using EV Connect just recently. A new station in Salisbury, North Carolina was opened up and it was the first one that we saw with EV Connect being used as the back end. It is uh, two DC fast chargers with CCS and Chatamo, and these are positioned in communities throughout the service area of Duke Energy. Also, very commonly at dealerships, General Motors specifically, it seems as though EV Connect is very commonly used for the chargers that are being put in by the dealers. This one is in a community to the west of Charlotte in pretty underserved rural areas, but EV Connect was there and a really nice DC fast charger at a uh, General Motors dealership. Okay, so after I registered my car into the app, I drove over to a local EV Connect station and we're going to try this out to see how it works. Hopefully, it works good. like someone was here for me okay so we are ready to go lug in and let's see if it goes i heard a connection preparing i think it worked cool so these abb chargers are all over the place in fact these are the same ones that are used by circle k by 7-eleven by the likes of uh, Racetrack, they all use these same ones, and they all, yeah, yep, we are charging. And they also use uh, EV Connect on the back end. And I wonder if this same plug-in charge will work at Circle K, Racetrack, and 7-Eleven. I suspect not, because I'm thinking they use their own front end, and this is just EV Connect, because the uh, release on the website said, 300 and some odd stations. And if you factored in the Circle K, the 7-Eleven, and the racetrack, it would be a lot more than 300. So I think these are just the native EV Connect stations that this works on currently. But still, I'm a big fan of plug and charge. Do yourself a favor, spend the five or 10 minutes it takes in order to set it up. It'll save you innumerable minutes of uh, time in the future because nothing's nicer than pulling up to a DC fast charger, plugging in, getting back in the car, and letting all the payment and um, uh, 
touch screen uh, be left for someone else while you happily swipe away on your iPhone or listen to music in the infotainment system of the car. Anyway, I hope you found this video informative. Thank you very much for watching.